Is Halo Infinite running like complete crap on your PC? You just feel like you're not getting the amount of frames you should be getting because the same thing was happening to me until I changed a few of these key settings. If we look at the FPS I was getting before I made all these changes, I was getting in the upper 150s. I was averaging around there in a custom game, but in actual games, I was getting a little bit lower than that. But if we look at the FPS I'm getting after making all these changes, my frames are pretty much locked to 240 and I'm finally getting the frame rates that I thought I should be getting in this game with my setup. So I'm going to be helping you guys get all your settings figured out today. But before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by Sense Quality. If you don't know who Sense Quality is by now, they're actually a company that specializes in optimizing and overclocking PCs. They can even optimize your internet if you're experiencing any sort of lag, hit reg issues, or if you just simply want the lowest ping possible. If you're a streamer, they can also help you with the best possible settings that'll work for your PC, which will give the best quality streams and recordings for your PC. They've optimized PCs for half of the CDL league, and they've done a lot of top streamers like Scump or Aiden, for example, as well as mine. After they optimized my PC, I was just completely blown away by the results. But if you guys are interested in something like this, I'll link their website down in the description. And you can even use code WebSee for 20% off anything on the website, which is super nice. They do all this stuff remotely. You don't have to do anything crazy like send your PC in or whatever. And I could not recommend this company anymore these guys are just miracle workers the work they do is insane but let's just get right into the video the first two things i'm going to show you guys i actually learned from kerneal who is the founder of sense quality and they actually helped me out the most so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your file explorer and then you're going to go to your game files so i'll leave the text so you can just copy and paste this right in here and it'll bring you right to your game folder and you're going to see this spec control settings thing you're probably not going to be able to just double click and open it so you're going to have to right click and then go to open with and you're probably going to have to click more apps right here and choose like notepad or wordpad then after you do that it'll open it up here and all you got to do from here is just scroll down until you see the minimum frame rate right here and you're going to change this value to whatever the refresh rate of your monitor is and then you're also going to do the same here for the spec control target underneath that so for me i have a 240 hertz monitor so both these numbers are set to 240 and that's all you got to do in here then just make sure you save the file and then you are good to go there you can close all that out and then open up your game once you're in your game you're going to click your little settings wheel in the bottom right here and you are going to see manage game right here so click on that and you are going to want to uncheck anything that says HD content pack. It might look a little different for you, but for me, it just says multiplayer HD content pack. So make sure you uncheck that and then click apply and then you will be good there and you can back out of that. From there, you can just click into your settings and then go over to the video tab. Now your FOV is personal preference, play whatever you want to play on and then have borderless full screen checked. You can't do actual full screen in this game for whatever reason, which really sucks. So this is the next best thing make sure your resolution skill is at 100 percent and then right here where it says minimum frame rate and maximum frame rate these numbers should both match what you put into that text file like in the game files if those numbers don't match you probably just didn't save it and you're gonna have to go redo that vsync we're gonna want this disabled limit inactive frame rate you could enable this if you want so when you're tabbed out your frames are capped but i just keep my frames uncapped and then the graphic settings are pretty easy in this game i'm not gonna lie most of the settings you just want to set to low or off but there is a couple that we want to raise up a little bit so anti-aliasing texture filtering ambient occlusion all three of those we want to just put them on low texture quality if you have a good gpu this isn't going to affect your frames all that much so i am putting this on high if you don't have the best gpu in the world definitely just put this down to low geometry quality i have this set to medium because you know that pop in effect when you're walking around the map and you can kind of see stuff loading in I don't like how that looks on low, so I do bump this up to medium to reduce that effect a little bit, but bumping this setting up will definitely decrease your frames. So if you are still struggling for frames after this video, definitely just put it down to low. Reflections, we have off, depth of field, shadow quality, lighting quality, we have all of these on low. Volumetric fog quality, we have this off. Cloud quality, dynamic wind, ground cover quality, effects quality, decal quality, we 
we all have these lower off and then we keep scrolling down we have animation quality we want this on auto the only options here are auto and max which is really odd so we are keeping this on auto setting this to max could really affect performance because it's really going to affect your cpu then we have terrain quality which i do have low here which i do mean to put on medium and i put this on medium for the same reason as before it kind of reduces that pop in and i just don't like how that effect looks but again if you're not getting the frames you kind of want after this video definitely try putting this down to low but i prefer how the game looks and runs with this on medium it just looks weird when you're running around the map and you can see like the map kind of loading in in front of you simulation quality we have on low flocking quality we have this off now async compute is an interesting one i know on Kernel's amd graphics card i think he said he gained 20 fps by checking this and it didn't affect the frames as much when he was on an nvidia card so i tested it for myself because i have a 3080 ti and when i checked the setting on i gained 10 fps when i checked it off i lost 10 fps so i would recommend turning this setting on but if you want to see how many extra frames it's giving you you could go into custom match and turn it off and on and see exactly how many frames it's giving you and then scrolling down we have all like the screen effects which i just turn all the way off or uncheck the speed lines this is just going to affect your visibility a lot and are more so a nuisance than anything and then the sharpening by default is at 50 percent i bumped this up to 75 percent it just makes everything in the game a little more sharp and it's easier to look at easier to see people all that stuff and just makes the game look better overall so i hope this video did help you guys out if it did make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you're new here keep in mind that halo infinite is currently in beta right now so a lot of these settings could change when the full game is actually released so make sure you guys subscribe so you can stay up to date with that if anything changes but if you do have any questions i do normally stream tuesday through saturday mornings over on twitch link is in the description so feel free to drop a follow over there say what's up in chat and i'll see you guys in the next video here's the web Peace.